You know they say the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror because it's more important to see where you're going than where you've been. And that's just what we have to do coming off the kind of loss we had last Friday against Thompson. We need to stay focused on what lies ahead and put the Thompson loss in our rearview mirror. This program's future is so much bigger than what happened in the past. And while we can learn from the past, we can't let this Thompson loss beat us twice. On this episode of Inside the Hornet's Nest, I'll talk today with Jackson Shuttlesworth as well as Owen Key. I'll also talk with Coach Colby Harris and get their thoughts and lessons learned from last week's loss against Thompson. Plus, they'll also let us know how preparation is going into the Pelham game. I'll also continue to find out more about these guys on a personal level by having them tell us what their pregame superstitions are, uh, what superpower they'd like to have, and who they would want to play themselves in a movie cast about Chelsea football. Stick around because this could be fun as Inside the Hornet's Nest starts right now. I think during the game, our guys played hard through the entire part of the game. No matter how far we were down, we saw, uh, continued to see them fight and play hard all four quarters, which is really good to see. And moving forward, it's going to be even better to see because we did see that fight, so we know what they have in them, and we only can get better playing the best. So they're the four-time state champions for a reason, and we're only going to get better by playing the best. And I think seeing that speed, size, physicality will only get us better. Um, play in teams that aren't 7A state champs four times in a row. Pelham has some really fast guys on the, um, at receiver and has a really good quarterback. So seeing that speed from Thompson will help us uh, prepare and know what to expect for Pelham because they do have some really fast receivers. I think we've had a really good practices so far. Um, we've had good attitudes. Everybody's come out ready to work. Um, each day we're finding ways to get better. We're keeping each other up. And our seniors are really being leaders and um, picking up guys that may be down on themselves. So when I get done um, helping set up the sidelines, first thing I want to do is I want to go put my headphones on and just relax, get my mind off everything and just chill. Because um, if I sit there and I start thinking too much, I'll overthink everything that we've seen on film that week and that will just psych myself out. So I'd like to just sit down, relax, um, take a deep breath before we start. Um, the fly, because who doesn't want to fly? I want to say Will Farrell just to keep it lighthearted, to keep uh, keep some laughs going. Um, I thought, I mean, we had a good practice the week of Thompson, actually. I thought we, were, we uh, prepared well. Um, practices were good. Everyone's attitude was good. Um, I just I just think we didn't go out and perform uh, the way that we wanted to, obviously. But we kept it together. We all had each other's back, you know, you know, high-fiving each other on and off the field, you know, cheering each other on, even though the scoreboard wasn't in our favor. And, you know, we just have each other's back and we love each other. And I think that's that's how we stay in those kind of games. And the bigger scheme things, I think, like sometimes people get too much of a of a big head. We get too confident, and games like that can sometimes um, like reground us and like just just you know not let us get overly confident. Um, especially playing teams with you know everybody can play on the ball. Everyone's fast. Everyone is a good football player, smart football player. I just think those games are really beneficial. Because you know, playing one of the top teams is um, going to improve our performance against teams that are obviously aren't as good, and it just gives us another look at like a bunch of real deal athletes that you know we play against. Well, practice has been going good so far. We had a good day today. We had a good day yesterday. Um, I just think uh, I know they have a good linebackers. I know I know that that's a strong point. Um, I think man for man, though, I think we have them beat. Especially the secondary, I know they have a, a young corner, you know, they're a little undersized. So I think the passing game is definitely going to be the way to go against Pelham. Um, and I just think, I, I think that we, we got it. I think we got it in the back, for sure. One of my superstitions is, I, I don't know how this is going to sound, but I pray three times before a game, every single time. It's always three. I don't know why. Um, and I also always pack an extra pair of gloves. I don't know what it is. It's just I feel like I feel like it just helps me just be more. I would say flying would be mine personally. I know it's probably a little basic, but I I just think 
flying will be really cool. Um, and you get to go up in the sky and like you can go anywhere you want to, not to worry about traffic or anything like that. And you can just see everything from a bird's eye view. I think it'd be really pretty. Um, Adam Sandler, because he's funny, and I think I think that I'm funny, um, and he's also just a good actor. And every movie I've watched has been a great movie, so I'd want him to play my part. Oh, I mean, we prepared about as good as we could. We knew the type of routes they like to run. We knew their guys were bigger and a little faster, but we we backed up and we knew that we had to just play back and play it safe to cover them. And uh, we kind of kept each other up by, we knew that like, there's more games to play this season. We'll have more opportunities to win and make big plays. So this one game doesn't really matter. Um, I always think you can, the only way you can get better is to play people better than you or faster than you. So the ability to play Thompson, it makes us one, get faster, and two, just get used to covering people that are good at their craft and know what they're doing and are organized and disciplined. It'll make us more disciplined and stuff like that in the interim. Well, I know what they're going through because I had to play as a sophomore and I got thrown in varsity games just like they are. So I just try to tell them to calm down and take it one play at a time and just think about their assignments, think about their rules, and don't let it all get to you all at once because the game is fast and it will only be fast unless you slow it down yourself and just take the time to take it in and just think about what's going on. They have a pretty good quarterback. He's, uh, he's a little quick, he can run, he can escape the pocket, and he's got a decent arm on him. They have a receiver that they like to target a lot. So I feel like it's gonna be a big game for both the front end and the DBs. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I like to wear the same stuff every game, same girdle, same like underwear, same undershirt, if we're allowed to. And uh, one of my big superstitions is that I, uh, I have to change a pair of socks for every game. I can't like wear the socks I wore to school that day. I like to change them, put a fresh pair on, that's just my thing. Uh, I would say super speed because I'm not the fastest person myself, so uh, I think it'd be nice to be able to run really fast, plus you can get where you want to go quick. Uh, I'd say uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I just think it would, he really resembles me in size and all that, and he'd make a good fit.